Hey everyone, I'm here with you today with a UK haul fashion video. Yes, I've been looking forward to buying all of these clothes from the UK for such a long time and it finally happened and I finally get to share it with you guys and I'm so excited. Um, I basically went crazy with everything that I bought. Um, I just came back from the UK yesterday, like literally 24 hours ago. I was getting off a plane, I was in Melbourne airport coming back home. Um, so yeah, I thought before I'd pack it all away and put it into my um, cupboards, I thought I'd share and show you guys everything that I got while I was overseas. Um, I did go to Paris um, as well as the UK. So in the UK I went to London and then we went to Glasgow, Fort William, um, Isle of Skye, Inverness and then Edinburgh. Most of the shopping that we did was in London and Edinburgh um, but there is a couple of things that I got from other places but I'm pretty sure everything in this video is from London and Edinburgh and majority of the things in this video are from Primark. Um, so I figured what I was going to do is I'd cut the video in half, I'd do the first half is all non-Primark stuff and then the second half or second three quarters because it's going to go on for a long time uh, will be also all the Primark stuff. Um, I did also get a huge amount of Lush stuff, Harry Potter stuff and some makeup as well so I'll be putting up videos where it's just a Harry Potter haul, just a Lush haul and just a makeup haul because yeah, I spent quite a bit of money overseas. Um, so without further ado, I'll get stuck into it. Uh, so the first thing that I got um, was actually one of the last things that I got. Um, is a cashmere, 100% cashmere scarf from Edinburgh. So um, all along the Royal Mile they have all of these cashmere shops and um, they have these deals where it's like two for 85 pounds. Um, I did two for 99 pounds, so it's a little bit more expensive, but these ones are definitely made in Scotland. Um, so this is the one that I got for myself, so it's blue and green tartan, as you can see. Um, and the other oh, light just went there we go um, and the other one we got is for James's mum as a gift because she helped us out a lot with um, our trip um, so the brand is Tartan Weaving Mill and it's made in Scotland and it's 100% cashmere as well and so soft so this is um, the second cashmere thing that I have in my life and probably will be the last cashmere thing I have in my life but it's so soft and it's so lovely and I kind of feel like you should always get something that's cashmere if you go to Scotland because you know it's going to be made there you know it's going to be really good quality um, even though if it is a little bit expensive um, it's going to be really really nice so that's um, the first item on the list the second item on the list is from Forever 21 and it's just these houndstooth shorts as you can see here um, I really love wearing these kinds of shorts in winter, so I figured these would be really, really nice. I have um, a pair of shorts that are just like this, but instead of houndstooth, they're tartan, and they're green and blue tartan, just like the scarf. That's why I like getting that scarf, because I was like, ah, oh, I can like match it. Um, but yeah, I didn't have a pair of houndstooth uh, shorts. A long time ago, I had a houndstooth skirt, but unfortunately, um, the zip broke on it, and so I couldn't wear it anymore. Um, so I thought instead of um, getting a skirt, I'd get some shorts because that's really good with um, a pair of tights underneath and that's really nice for autumn and winter, which we are definitely getting into. Um, the next thing I got was um, from River Island. Um, oh, and I'm not sure how much the shorts cost. I think they were 20 pounds. I think they were 20, I'm not sure. Um, the next thing I got was from River Island and it's this really nice... Um, sort of tie knot um, kimono type top so you can see it's got like these bat wing sort of sleeves there and it's just really pretty like I saw it in the shops and I just kept thinking and thinking and thinking about it and pretty much if you can't stop thinking about it that means you need to get it um, so I bought it this was 28 pounds so it's a bit more expensive um, in terms of the things that I bought um, but I just love it I just think that's beautiful I think that'll look really nice with like a pair of 
um, like black skinny jeans or even like with a pair of tights and like a pen black pencil skirt or something like that underneath. Uh, but yeah, so I thought that was really pretty, so I got that one. Um, then me and James went to Camden Market in uh, London. And I wanted to do a whole bunch of vintage shopping there, but the day that we went, a lot of the shops were shut. Um, so one of the only shops that was open was the Collective store. Um, so we went in and Collective is beautiful, but it's very expensive. Um, or at least for me, it's very expensive. Um, and so I went to the sale rack and I saw this skirt and I was like, that's amazing. And then I put it on and I was like, this is amazing. Um, and it was on special as well. I'm not sure how much it was. I'm pretty sure I got it for 14 pounds from like, like 50 pounds or something like that. So it's this black, um, like pleather skirt. That's actually the back of it. This is the front. So the front has the zip and it's got like this peplum around the front and the back, which I just thought was really, really nice. And I love pencil skirts, but the problem that I have with pencil skirts is that um, you can always, they're, they're, too, they're too thin basically. Um, so I liked this one because it's thicker um, and if you pair it with like some tights or a nice pair of heels, um, it'll look really, really good. So you can dress it up and you can dress it down. Um, and I wore it uh, one of the days with um, a t-shirt and it looked really, really cool with the t-shirt tucked in. So that was good. Um, and the last thing that I've got that isn't Primark related is from this store called Kath Kidson. And it's come in like this nice little uh, packaging, so I haven't opened it yet. Um, and basically, James and I were walking down Princess Street in Edinburgh, and I walked past the store, Kath Kidson, and I was like, It's amazing! It's amazing! So we went inside, and it was just like the prints that they had were so cute. Like, I tried on this dress that had like little, um, ice creams all over it and it was just like this gorgeous store and they sold not just clothes but they had like bags and backpacks and aprons and tea towels and all this stuff um but it was a little bit expensive um and then i found this dress on the sales rack and i was like um this is amazing and i got it for 37 pounds 50 marked down from 75 pounds and it's got little dashes on it. How cute is that? It's got little sausage dogs. And because I have a sausage dog, I thought that was really fitting. So it's a nice sort of um, longish dress. It gets down to the knees. And it's got this really cute um, sort of like knife pleat uh, collar and a little velveteen bow up the top. And I just thought that was so adorable. It was so sweet. Um, and it was on special, so I thought, why not? And I figured that would look really good with like a leather belt or something that sort of cinches it in the middle because it's a bit of a, um, uh, like an A-line type thing. So it um, kind of goes out just a little bit. But yeah, I just thought that was adorable. So I picked that one up as well. Um, so then now I've got all of the Primark stuff. I'm going to start off with uh, two things that are homewares, so they're not actually clothes, but they're too good to not show you guys. I'll show the alright item first and then I'll show you the amazing item. So I got these uh, tea towels, which I just thought were so adorable, they're so cute. So I got this one and it's just got uh, pictures of guards and um, double ticket buses and the phone booths and just says London, London, London. And I thought that was really cute because I love collecting tea towels um, from like different places that I've been. And then I also got this one here um, that has like a whole bunch of different um, like landmarks and iconography from London all over it, which again I thought was really cute and it's got like different um, titles of things and I thought that would be um, very British to put in my kitchen, pretty much. Um, so then all the Primark, oh no, I'm gonna show you the next thing. So, this is amazing. Um, so I saw this on Primark's Instagram, and when I saw it, I was like, okay, well I'm definitely buying it, but I don't know how I'm going to take it back home without it breaking, but I managed to take it home without it breaking, and it's really amazing because it's an Aladdin lamp. How cool is that? And so it's ceramic, it's 100% ceramic, and it's actually a teapot as well. So just saying that my teapot is better than your teapot. 
um, but basically, so yeah, so it's all ceramic inside, and it's just gold plated, and taking this overseas, like, overseas back to Australia was not easy, but it didn't break, it's perfectly fine. I don't know if I'm going to use it as a teapot or not, I might just use it as decoration, um, but I think it's really cool, I think it's really, really cool. So moving on to the clothes that I got from Primark, I got a lot. Um, I still didn't get as much as I got of Harry Potter stuff, so um, it's a bit, but it's definitely not as much as what I bought with Harry Potter. Uh, so I got this cardigan to start off with, so this grey cardigan. It's got like these um, um, embroidery uh, flowers that are on the sleeves, so I thought that was really nice. It's a nice sort of like middle length, it's not too short, it's not too long. Um, and so I thought that would be really nice getting into autumn because that's what we're getting into here in Australia. And that one cost £13, which I thought was quite nice. I can't remember if I, remember if I said, but the Aladdin teapot was £10. Um, I also got this um, orange coat, as you can see here. So this orange coat, it's quite long, um, it goes to like just above the knees really nice sort of like double breasted buttons it's kind of suit like so the top of it is quite suity which I thought was nice because I don't have something like this like I've got jackets but they're all like really thick wintry woolly kind of jackets and I thought this would be really nice to go out and see a show in which is exactly what I did because um, I went and saw School of Rock and this was part of my outfit so yes so I can't remember how much this one was because I wore it so I took the tag off but I'm pretty sure it was like between 15 and 20 pounds. I don't think it was more than that. Um, the only thing is, is that I got pen on the sleeve. So if anybody knows how to get pen out, please tell me because I don't know. Um, next thing was just some pairs of black tights. So these are literally just like plain black tights um, that you can never have too much of because um, they never go astray. Um, the next thing I got was uh, two A-line skirts, so they're both like this suede sort of material with um, some cut out detailing down the bottom of like leaves and spots. Um, so I thought this was really nice and I got the same one in brown as well, so that's the back of it, that's the front. It came in a dress but I didn't really like the dress that much, I thought the skirts would be better. Um, and these were both £10 each as well, so £20 for the two of them. It does come in a light blue um, too, which I saw in the stores a little bit later. Um, I got another skirt, it is this pleated, sort of like knife pleated, sort of like um, a netball skirt sort of thing, and it's got this gold button detailing up here. Um, and so that's a nice little one again for autumn getting into winter with some black tights underneath um, I think the print is really cute even though it's a little bit school type um, I think it's really nice and you can sort of dress that up or dress that down depending on like, where you're going sort of thing um, the next thing I got was just a pair of basic grey um, leggings, three quarter leggings, or well, they're not really three quarter, they're kind of full length but they still don't cover up your ankles so I'm going to say they're like seven eighths leggings or something like that. Um, I thought I'd bought full leggings and then I put them on and I was like these are not full leggings. Um, but yeah, so I thought those were just good to just lounge around in which I thought was nice. Um, I also got this t-shirt because I figured well I'm in London so I might as well and it is a Mind the Gap t-shirt. So uh, this is what I this is the t-shirt that I wore with my black pleather um, collective pencil skirt with the peplum, and it looked really cute. It was a really cute outfit. I liked that one. That was really good. Um, I got this. Oh, I'm not sure how much. Oh, I think it was five pounds that t-shirt. I'm pretty sure that t-shirt was five pounds. Um, and I can't remember how much the leggings were. I think the leggings were like four pounds because um, they're like super cheap, really, really cheap. Um, I also got this t-shirt. Here. and you can see it's got like these little tassels on the sleeves and on the edges and I just thought that was really really sweet um, for when it gets a little bit warmer 
um, in Melbourne during autumn because it'll literally be like 30 degrees one day and then 7 degrees the next day. Um, and this was 10, uh, sorry, 8 pounds. So that's really good. Um, I also got another t-shirt. Because um, the thing is as well that in the UK they were coming into their summer collection. So they were getting rid of their winter collection which was good on one hand because a lot of their winter stuff was on sale but on the other hand I think we were like a week too late because there was barely any winter stuff it was pretty much all summer which was hilarious because it was like six degrees and then you walk past Primark and you see all of these swimsuits in the display and you look at the street and everybody's got like huge scarves on and beanies on and gloves on and these coats on because it's literally like two degrees outside um, I also got this t-shirt and it says fabulous in this kind of like rope detailing which I thought was really cute. It's also got these uh, turned up sleeves which I really like as well uh, because I really like the turned up sleeves look but I find it difficult to turn my own sleeves up on t-shirts that don't have turned sleeves because then it looks weird I feel. I feel like you need to have like a packet of cigarettes and like a greasy like 1950s style hairdo but yeah so I thought this was really cute again to pair with like a pair of shorts or like the um, pencil skirt that I got and that was five pounds as well um, in more t-shirts I got uh, this one here that has this um, kind of like Mexican Spanish style embroidery across the top um, which I really really love again oh no it doesn't it doesn't have turned sleeves it's just got shorter sleeves uh, which is nice. So I thought this would look really nice with um, any type of skirt um, or even like a pair of jeans. I thought that would look really good with. And this was eight pounds. So I really, really like that one. That's actually one that I had my eye on for a while because um, I started following Primark's Instagram. And why didn't I do that sooner? It's amazing. Um, I also got this houndstooth style um, dress as well um, so I thought that this was very British very mod um, there was a couple more mod dresses that I saw in um, Camden Market but they were asking for like 60 pounds and I'm like that's that's too much I think that's too much uh, but yeah so there was this one and it has like um, this ribbon sort of detailing along the side it's an A-line shift dress so it finishes above the knee and it's just in that t-shirt sort of style at the top that sh uh, shift <coughs> excuse me shift dress dresses usually have it's got like a metal zip at the back as well I can't remember how much it cost but I'm pretty sure it's around about like 12 15 pounds sort of thing um, the next thing I got is so cool so daggy but also so cool I got Mean Girls socks. That's right, Mean Girls socks. Um, I was literally just walking past the socks part and I just saw them and it was like the only pair that was there. I was like, well, they're £2.50 so I'm buying them. Um, and it comes with three pairs. So one pair says, that's why her hair's so big, it's full of secrets. Um, the other pair says, personally victimised by Regina George. And then the other pair is like the burn book, um, book style cover. And I just thought that was so freaking cool. Um, I think that these are amazing. So I'm really, really happy that I found those. Um, I also got myself a little travel wallet that's got, <coughs> that's got a double decker bus on it. Um, so I don't really have a travel wallet. Um, basically because I just like hold my stuff basically then putting it in a purse but um, I thought it was really cute and I love anything that's London related so I thought that would be a nice little sort of reminder um, and I'm pretty sure it was about five or eight pounds I can't remember because I've taken the tag off um, but yeah so that was really cute and so I got that one um, the next thing I got literally I wore almost every day since I bought them in London and it was these footless legging tights oh my god why didn't I buy more than one pair these kept me so warm so much warmer than like my jeans or anything like that because when I first got to Paris I was wearing jeans with tights underneath them and I was freezing cold 
I went to the UK and I went to Scotland and I wore these for basically every single day. It was raining, my legs didn't get wet. It was windy, my legs didn't get cold. I was so warm in these tights. So they're filled with like this fleece velvet lining. Oh, they were the best. I didn't have to wear anything underneath them. I didn't have to wear like a pair of jeans on top of them or anything like that. You know, my only problem is, is that I didn't buy enough of them. Because I've worn them so many times, it's starting to pill around here. I don't think you can see it in the camera, but it's definitely pilling, um, which is frustrating. And because I wore them over my heels, my heels made like an indent so that they're not like properly um, like footless anymore. And they were only three pounds! There were only three pounds and there was a whole tub of them and I only picked up one pair and then I was like, that's okay, I'll find more at the other Primark. And I went to the other Primark and they weren't there. And my big, that's my biggest regret of the holiday is that I didn't pop buy more of these. It was so amazing. It was literally three pounds for like the best leggings I've ever had. Um, so the rest of the stuff that I got from Primark is all shoes. So I got these pair of red boots, um, which are like this suede uh, material, and I just thought they were really cute. I thought they were really, really nice. This is These are the boots that I wore with the orange jacket when I went and saw uh, School of Rock, the show that I went and saw. And um, yeah, I just thought they were like super cute, really, really nice boots. Um, I can't remember how much they were because I had to take the tags off in order to wear them, but I'm pretty sure it was like £12? maybe 15 but I'm pretty sure it was 12 um, I got a pair of heels as well so these are like yellow suede uh, the same material as the red boots but obviously in yellow um, and I just thought they were really really cute because they're all like 1950s style sort of like um, thick and chunky but at the same time um, dainty with the little bow and everything like that so I got those again I don't know how much exactly they were um, but I feel like they were 12 as well. I think they were 12 pounds. Um, I also got uh, these sandals. So it's nowhere near summertime in Australia. In fact, it's like basically a year until it's summer again. The lighting went weird. There we go. Um, but I really like the idea of having like pom-poms and tassels on um, sandals. Like that's really in at the moment. I don't know if it'll be in next year. But either way, I thought these were really cute, and so I got them. And I'm pretty sure they were eight pounds. So they were more expensive, because eight pounds isn't expensive. But they were more expensive sandals, because there was another pair of sandals that I liked there. Um, and they were like five pounds. But I, at the end of the day, I thought these ones looked better, like they could go with more things. Uh, so I picked these ones instead. And then the last part of this haul is literally just um, a pair of simple back, black sling back, um, just like ballet flat shoes that have a pointed end to them. Um, I had a pair of shoes like this um, that were exactly, basically exactly like this um, and I wore them out to basically nothing. Um, and so I had to throw them away and then when I was in Primark on the last day of our um, trip, I saw them and I was like, oh, I can quickly grab them. Um, and that was six pounds. Like, how good is that? Like, even if you convert that, that's $12, which is a quarter of the price that I paid for um, the ones that I basically, like, wore until they died. Um, so, yeah, so that was just, like, a nice little staple to have in your wardrobe. So that is all of my UK fashion haul. Um, like I said to you guys, I have a Harry Potter haul, a makeup haul, and a Lush haul. So many hauls um, to show you guys. So if you are interested in seeing any of those, click on the description in, uh, well, click on the link in the description box. You know, the thing, the thing that you do, that thing. And while you're doing that thing, you know, you can do this thing, and you can do the subscribe thing, and you can do the Instagram thing, and you can just do all the things. Um, and that's basically all from me, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!